Hi everyone, a few people have been asking me to do a question and answer video for quite a while now, so I thought I'd finally give it a go. Tom asks, if you were to make a self-portrait, what medium would you use? Watercolours, charcoal or marzipan? I've always quite liked the idea of a self-portrait using all the images of my previous work, so of a huge collage that made up my face. So maybe one day I'll actually get around to doing that. And similar, Katie asked, in the case of my Miley Cyrus portrait using my tongue and David Beckham using my feet, what body part would I most like to see someone paint me with? I guess it'd be quite fun to watch someone try and paint with their knees. Ashley asked, what got you into this sort of art? It was kind of fake really. Um, I was getting quite bored of using traditional materials in my studies and things. And I read in the newspaper that you either love or hate Simon Cowell. It was an article about one of his talent shows coming back. And I instantly thought of Marmite, because that's his slogan. Uploaded the video to YouTube. Um, so I started to get a lot of interest, a lot of TV appearances and things from that, a lot of press. And realised that I was, I was onto something, so I sort of continued using all these unusual materials for my work. Becky asked, was it difficult to do when you first got into it? Um, I guess every new material is, is quite tricky really, you sort of have to get used to the consistency and how long they last and how quick you have to make the portrait before it starts to disperse in some sort of way. Um, so that's kind of the fun side of it as well, because every day is sort of like a new day on the job when you're using different material. Um, so yeah, it is quite tricky, but with a lot of practice, just like anything, you eventually get used to it. Nathan asked, would I be interested in collaborations with current upcoming artists? Uh, yes, basically, if the project was cool and exciting enough and I thought that I could put my own stamp on it, then definitely. Ali asked, how do you decide what medium to use per portrait? There's either some sort of concept to it, or it's just for pure comedy, or it could just be someone's surname, like Alan Sugar with Sugar, Keith Lemon with Lemon Things. Um, sometimes it's just like the David Beckham portrait, he's famous for us using his feet playing football, so I paint him with my feet. Miley Cyrus started poking a tongue out a lot, so I painted her with my tongue. Um, love or hate characters for the Marmite, so, you know, there's bit different sort of reasons for every sort of one of them, but it's usually their stereotypes of what they're most known for. Diane, Stella and Fayaz all asked, where did you get your inspiration? Um, one of my earliest memories of drawing is sort of drawing my Buffy the Vampire Slayer posters on my bedroom wall and my dad drawing Power Rangers and me colouring them in, stuff like that. So I guess my early inspiration was probably from drawing with my father. And then through school I sort of got really, really interested in portraiture, mostly Chuck Close and Andy Warhol's work. And then where my fascination with pop culture came into it as well then, that sort of tied it all in really well. And through the rest of my studies has led me to here. Geraldine asks, how old were you when you first discovered your talent for art? And was there a particular person in your family who encouraged and supported you? Um, well, like I said earlier, um, I guess it was my dad, really, with the um, initial sketches and things when I was growing up. But essentially all my family are extremely supportive of what I do now. And it was probably, uh, I was probably about age eight to nine when I first really started to draw. I just want to show you my cup a second. How amazing is that? Mmm. Lindsay's asked, what has been your favourite material to have worked with? loads of them. Um, some of them smell so amazing, uh, like I made Keith Lemon using things that um, lemon flavours, uh, Jesus with chocolate, Mr Bean with beans, Lady Gaga with Coca-Cola, uh, Fake Tan's also a really fun one to use. I did a series of egg fried rice and vegetable portraits including Stephen Fry and Russell Brand. That project was so much fun. Again the original Marmot on Toast, such, such good fun. Um, they're all just brilliant and unique in their own different ways, so I enjoy all of them really. Helen asked, um, you overcame bullying, do you think that art helped you? I think definitely it did, yeah. Um, where I was getting bullied quite a lot throughout school, um, being told that I was good at something definitely gave me something to strive for and gave me that confidence boost, boost to make me feel like I was worthy of something. and. Now the things that I was getting bullied for are the things that I'm most proud of. But um, back then, you know, it, it may make you feel so low. And to have something like my art to keep me going, it definitely did. Owen Lee asks, which stars were you most excited to meet? Probably my idol, Anastasia. Um, we were both filming for the Paula Grady show. And I got to meet her in the corridor just after we finished filming. And gave her the sketch that I did of her and as I was chatting to her I was stuttering and I was messing up my words and I actually walked backwards um, for, to take a photo of her with my friend and I, 
bumped into the fire extinguisher that sort of half fell off the wall and it was really embarrassing. Um, and probably just last week I got to meet Welsh rugby legend Gareth Thomas. I don't know whether it's because he's such a big guy or whatever, but I was quite nervous to meet him as well. But it turned out, you know, he's such a lovely guy and got to have loads of photographs and he filmed a little clip for the end of my new video making him with mud. So they're always nice when you meet them, but for some reason we all get so starstruck. And both Deb and Jean have asked, what's the worst or hardest substance you've painted with? Probably about, I think it's about seven years ago now, I tried to make a huge 20 foot portrait of the Mona Lisa in about a foot of snow in my brother's back garden. And it turned out kind of okay. I think it looks a little bit like a Muppet, but everyone else seems to think it's alright. It's actually on my YouTube if you want to check it out. Um, but just because of the circumstances, as I was um, scooping up the snow to reveal the grass underneath to make the, the marks, it was just, the snow was melting, I was absolutely freezing, it was taking almost five, six hours to do, and I couldn't quite get the camera as well um, directly above the artwork, so it was sort of shown at an angle, so the head looks a lot bigger than the body, which obviously on the Mona Lisa it isn't, so it's just one of those things, but snow was an extremely difficult one to work with. Um, Cat food wasn't particularly pleasant to work with because of the smell of it. That's my Katy Perry portrait. Um, but other than that, I think the majority of the materials I've tried, after a bit of practicing, I've managed to get done. Terry asks, what is my favourite portrait? And that's always a tricky one because I quite kind of like most of my portraits, but I still always say the original Simon Cowell Marmot on Toast because that's kind of, I owe a lot to that portrait, that kind of started everything off for me. Um, probably also my 10 foot portrait of Rupert Murdoch at the height of the phone hack scandal got featured front page of the Guardian as most recently I really enjoyed my portrait of Britney Spears using peanut butter and jelly that smelt lush Blanche asks have you ever had any odd or disgusting requests for your art and where can we buy your work I have had some quite bizarre requests before um, usually people that are quite angry with certain celebrities they tweet me saying oh can you make this person out of and it's usually something vulgar. And you can actually buy my art directly from me. Um, you can commission me for sketches, um, prints of my artwork as well. All the, all the artwork is on my website you can get prints of. And independently commission me to come to events, all that different kind of stuff. So it's usually just directly through me via email. So Julian asks, Did you ever think when your parents told you to stop messing with your food and eat it, that it would end up being your full-time job. Obviously, no. I mean, it's, it's absolutely crazy to, to even, but even at all anticipated any of this. But um, like I said, YouTube was a huge help with that, and I guess just a lot of determination and putting a lot of work into it. But to think that it was end up being my full-time job and that I'd have a book coming out in under two months with 80 of my most known works is absolutely crazy so I'm just grateful for all the, the help and the, the support along the way so the people watching this thank you. Chris asks who hits your mojo these days in the art world? I don't actually follow art that much um, I guess you kind of hear that a lot about creative people and musicians and things they don't tend to follow a lot of other music they just sort of focus so much on their own um, but Jeff Koons I really like Jeff Koons work Banksy is just incredible um, Damien Hurst is a bit bonkers, but I kind of like a lot of what he says. And Vic Munez as well, um, he's another multimedia um, artist that is just incredible. Bunny asks, if paint creates paintings, what would you refer to your art as? Gosh, um, I don't know really, I guess it's kind of a bit of everything. Um, the process of it is quite often painting. Um, I guess painting is probably the process rather than the name of the material. It's one of those chicken or the egg things, which came first, the name of the process or the actual material. But um, there's a lot of painting, there's a lot of drawing, some of it's quite sculptural as well by the time it's finished. And then most of the perishable work wouldn't survive without the video evidence or the photographs, so there's a lot of photography. Um, I guess there's kind of a lot of everything, so I don't really have an answer to that question. <laughs> And then finally, Lauren Harris asks, when am I going to do her portrait? Um, I think we should do it for one of your next music videos, Lauren. <laughs> okay, and that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope I answered some of your questions well. And keep watching my videos and keep a look out for the debut book. Um, I'm sure I'll upload another video around about when it's released. So, thanks guys.